Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Should we make this a musical? No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I don't know about you, but I think it's time for a Primark haul. It's been a seriously long time since I last did one of these. Bearing in mind I normally do one once every month. Uh, it's definitely been a good couple of months since I last hit Primark. But don't worry, I have more than made up for it this time because I came away with one of the white bags. And that's when you know that you've done really bad things. When you like put your embarrassingly full trolley down on front of the cashier till and she's like, do you want a white bag, love? And you're like, yes, for my sins, yes. <laughs> Seeing as it's been a while since I ventured into the realms of Primark, I got a little bit excited, got a little bit carried away. Um, a lot happened. Um, I picked up some clothes, homeware, new pyjamas, obviously. So if you fancy seeing what I picked up for late January slash February at Primark Tottenham Court Road, then just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new, give this video a little thumbs up while you're watching if you're enjoying it, and let's get stuck in. Okay, where shall I even start? Um, clothes. For some reason, the only thing that I was really interested in buying, apparently, this time, uh, was jumpers. For the girl who only really wears black and white t-shirts on a day-to-day -day basis, I feel like this was a bit of a rogue choice, but um, I love this colour. This is just a very plain and simple bright yellow cropped sweatshirt. Um, I really like the hem of this, gives it a little kind of an 80s feel because it's kind of like an unfinished hem. And I've just got visions of wearing this with my favourite pair of baggy mom jeans, looking like I've made zero effort, but also like that's quite cool. I feel like this teamed with a big buckle belt, a pair of white converse, hair and a bit of a messy ponytail. Jobs are good and you'd probably pay three times the price in like Topshop or Urban Outfitters somewhere. But in good old Primark, this cost me a grand total of five pounds. I mean, you just can't go wrong really, can you? So that's my new favorite jumper. Absolutely love it. Actually, I know I just said that that was my favorite jumper, but the next jumper might actually be my favorite jumper. So this one, I actually can't believe I found in Primark. I think it looks so much more expensive. I see all the like super swanky fashion bloggers wearing stuff like this. Uh, so I'm pretty impressed that I managed to find a bargain dupe version. Major French vibes going on because this is just red and white stripes. I've actually rolled the sleeves up on here, but they are full length sleeves. And then along the front in navy blue in like fancy script writing, it just says, mon chéri. That was a terrible French accent. According to my receipt, this stripey one was eight pounds. So a little bit more expensive than the yellow one, um, but it's the exact same shape with that kind of like raw hem, which I really like the look of. But I wore this last night to the pub, actually, um, and I really liked my outfit. I felt like it was quite a cute little outfit. And funnily enough, we won the pub quiz while I was wearing it, and I never win pub quizzes. Um, so I feel like maybe this is my lucky jumper. Jumper number three. Yes, there is a third jumper in this haul, but I promise it's the last jumper involved today. Uh, it's actually the one I'm wearing right now. This is a baby pink slash ultimate millennial pink uh, sweatshirt, which says, love will save us in like scrawled lettering. Um, I really like pink on red at the moment. It shouldn't work, but I think it looks really cool on like slogan t-shirts and jumpers and stuff. I guess there's not much else to say about this one, other than this has the proper like sweatshirt hem on it compared to the other two. Uh, and this was a grand total of five pounds. I think it looks surprisingly cool, considering nothing ever looks cool on me. I think this one is actually quite cool. Okay, and last but not least in the clothing department, uh, you know when you buy things and you're like, I don't really know why I bought that, but I bought this t-shirt and I'm sure I will get some wear out of it. It's just this plain little white t-shirt that has like black and white shaky shaky tassel detail on the sleeves. It's quite like a boxy cropped kind of shape, which probably isn't the best on my figure, but literally who cares. And for my little tassel t-shirt, I paid eight pounds. As you can see, it is a little bit see-through. You can see the label through there. So I might have to try this on um, with a variety of bras and see whether it's actually too see-through or not. But I really like the idea of it. It's very cute. And even if I don't wear it for the next couple of months, I think it'd be nice for a summer holiday. So that is clothes. Should we do homeware next? Let's go homeware. I grabbed a new duvet set, which I always think is quite exciting. Does anyone else get excited about a new duvet cover? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> the one I picked up this time, which I feel like is too matching to my background, but it's not for this room, I promise. This is the bright palm print duvet cover set. Um, I got it in the king size for our bed, which is 13 pounds for the duvet and two pillowcases. Pretty amazing value, to be honest. But it is a pale pink background covered in these like bright turquoise palm leaves. I reckon maybe like six months ago, maybe even longer, to be honest. 
I saw this on someone's Instagram, tweeted Primark like, oh my God, I love this duvet cover. Where can I get it? Oh my God, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? But lo and behold, it's finally in stores. Uh, they have this whole like awesome tropical kind of range at the moment with like neon lights and stuff. It's very cool. I think there's actually like two sides to the print as well. So there's this like main side, which is more of a big graphic print. And then on the underside, it's more of like a, I think this is it on the back. It's more of like a skinny leaf, slightly more pastel colored print. So I guess you can switch it up, whichever one you're feeling. Top find of the day, but also kind of weird find of the day, um, goes to this, which might look a bit strange, but this is an LED love light. Sounds a bit dodgy. Don't call anything a love light. It's battery operated, so I haven't actually tried it yet. I think I need three double A's. Um, and this was the only one lying around in the Tottenham Court Road store. So I don't know whether it was like not supposed to be there or not, but for five pounds, I thought, I'll just get it. Don't even know if it works or not. Funnily enough, this was the only one that I could find. It was just like a lone love light all on its own. Um, but then I was texting my friend Gabby, Velvet Ghost here on YouTube, and she happened to go to Primark the same day that I did, and she also picked up one of these in Sheffield. I think she said that she got like six bags of stuff or something, which makes my one white bag look actually quite self-controlled. So well done, Gabby, for literally the largest Primark haul of all time. I think she said that she's gonna put her haul up on Sunday, so I will link that down below for you to check out when hers goes live, because I feel like she probably bought the whole store. Uh, anyway, yeah, five pound love light. Dodgy name, very cute in reality. Next I grabbed two little matching candles, um, mainly for the packaging, not gonna lie. This one is in number 17, Madagascan Vanilla, and this one is in number 31, Pearl Grey. Um, I don't know why they're numbered, because there definitely wasn't 31 options. But anyway, I'm probably thinking about this in too much detail. Apparently they burn up to 60 hours, which is pretty good because they were only five pounds each. And I just think they're like little jar packaging with like copper detail. Um, I like the fact that the lids lift off and it's a pretty like decent sized candle for just a few quid. Uh, we tend to burn through candles like nobody's business. So I figured that I would just pick these up to kind of keep us stocked up. And then I think I'll probably use the jars afterwards for something because they're really nice. We've had this gray scent before, which is like fig and pomegranate. And I really like fig scented candles. Yeah, I really like the smell of this one. If I was gonna recommend one, I'd say try this one out. I think most random purchase of the day is probably this one. Actually, no, there's definitely another contender for most random purchase of the day. I feel like this needs to be an official slot, <laughs> an official award in all of my Primark hauls because there is always something that I buy and then I get home and I'm like, why did I buy this? I think this time it might go to this, although keep watching because there is another random purchase of the day. This one is a little photo frame that cost two pounds. It's still got the cellophane on, so sorry about that. I think it's four by six, so it's just like standard photo sized uh, black box frame. Um, but I actually bought this because I like the print that's inside. It just says mind over matter in like a brush font. And I'm really into brush font at the moment. It's something that I'm learning. Um, it's like my new favorite hobby to do. For the grand total of two pounds, I mean, I'll take it. Nothing too much for the kitchen this time, apart from one mug, which looks like this. And do you know what? I love this mug. <laughs> I love it. Uh, how much did this cost? Okay, so this was two pounds. It is A, a massive size, which is great for me because I drink enormous coffees. Um, I love this muted gray color. I really like the little star print that's all over it because star print is just my favorite thing ever. I would expect to see this in like either H&M Home or maybe even like Anthropology or somewhere like that. It's just so like muted, minimal, understated very cute. I'm gonna have to go back and get another one of these because I just love it. If you've been watching my Primark hauls for a while, you might remember there was a time when I could not leave the store without buying some coat hangers. Uh, sadly, they stopped making the coat hangers that I loved, which were just like the plain wire copper coat hangers. Um, but this time they had these and I thought, do you know what? These are the non-slip ones, which are kind of covered in like a flock kind of material to stop your clothes slipping off. Um, I love this teal, dark green, turquoise color paired with the copper. I think that's a really cute combo. And it's four pounds for 10, which I don't think is too bad when they're like good quality coat hangers. I've got dreams in my head of having like a sofa or an armchair in this color one day when I'm not poor. And when I stop spending all my money on things in Primark, maybe if I just like didn't go to Primark for a while, I could afford an armchair. <laughs> I better make a mental note of that because that's quite an epiphany that I've just had right there. Hmm. 
Now we're on to the like random bits and bobs that you find dotted around in the store. You don't really know why you're picking them up, but they're just super cute, so you want them anyway. A novel by me. This tiny thing is what I actually originally went into Primark for because I think I saw it on Instagram. It's pale pink and has Marie from the Aristocats on the front. I love her little glittery bow. And best of all, it's not the glitter that flakes off either. It's like good quality. Um, and then on the back where you pop your cards, it just says, everybody wants to be a cat. I just think this is so cute. Really boring adult thing to say as well, but I do love a card holder. These little bits are kind of a bit of a teaser, so sorry about that. Um, but I popped into the beauty section just to have a look around because there's always new stuff in the Primark beauty section that intrigues me. I picked up a few bits from the PS chocolate range because, ooh, I don't know, I feel like maybe I might have seen this before. <coughs> Too faced. I'm not going to show you this too much now because there's going to be a separate video. I'm going to do an average girl tries with this whole chocolate range uh, to find out whether it's actually kind of like a Too Faced dupe or not. But this contour and eyeshadow palette was a grand total of £6. I also picked up a highlighter and a cheek palette and a couple of lip products. Um, so I'm excited to get stuck in with these, see how we get on with them and find out whether they're actually a dupe or not. And spoiler alert, Yes, it is chocolate scented. Okay, three things left. We are nearly there, but these three things are very cute. I feel like these were good finds. I haven't picked up a new bag from Primark in ages. I tend to be pretty loyal to the bags that I like to use day to day. And most days I don't even use a bag. I just stuff my pockets full of things. But I saw this one and I felt like I had to have it because I just think it's gorgeous. It is this little round bag. Um, comes with a really long strap, which is still looped up here, but it's got like a long shoulder strap. Um, a little tassel on the side here. It's got rose gold detailing on the zipper. I don't really know my designer stuff, but I'm pretty sure there's some kind of like popular designer bag that this is based on. So considering this one was only six pounds, I just had to pick it up. I think it's so like classic, wearable. I love this pale pink color for accessories. It just seemed like the kind of bag that I would get a lot of wear out of. Um, can we actually fit a lot of stuff in here though? That is the question. But that's the kind of room that you're looking at inside. So definitely room for, you know, your purse, your phone, headphones, a lip balm, sorted. They had this in a ton of other colors as well. There was a black, there was a red, I think there was a silver as well. So if you're after a new little everyday bag that you'll get loads of wear out of, I would recommend checking this one out. Everyone knows that a Primark haul is not complete without a new set of pajamas. As soon as I went into the like nightwear section, I was immediately drawn to this like collection they have at the moment, which is like 90s throwback Nickelodeon themed pajamas. Literally like the coolest thing ever. And specifically there was an Angelica Pickles from the Rugrats pajama top, which was so cute. I loved it, but there were no matching bottoms for it. Instead, I went for this long sleeved pajama top, which says brunch club. Um, I don't know if you'll know what I'm talking about. There's a t-shirt that everyone has. I have it too. And it says like everyday brunch club on it. It's by a brand called Joni who are amazing. I really recommend checking them out. It's a very similar design, which is a little bit weird, uh, but it says brunch club over a little heart in a circle like that. Um, it's like a mar gray body all the way down, a little sweatshirt shape, and then has full length pale pink sleeves. But the main thing you need to know about these pajamas is these are the softest things that my hands have ever touched. Bit weird. I thought these were adorable. I absolutely love them. The top was a grand total of eight pounds. So maybe not the cheapest, but honestly, I cannot tell you how amazing these feel. I cannot wait to snuggle down in these. And while the top is long sleeved, it actually comes with shorts. Um, which I think is very cute. They're the same matching pale pink. They're the same super soft, fleecy, really amazing material. The shorts were four pounds, so I guess 12 quid for a pair of pajamas. I mean, you can't go wrong really, can you? Even if you're not gonna buy these though, just feel them because it will change your life for the better. And last but not least, I told you that there was a random purchase, but I think maybe the best purchase of this whole enormous haul uh, has to go to a pair of socks that I found. <laughs> okay, so let me just set the scene here. For anyone who knows me vaguely, uh, you will know that Harry Potter is a major part of my life. Um, there's not a lot in the world that I love more than Harry Potter. I mean, it definitely charts higher than various family members. Without sounding like a bit of a knob, I like more understated Harry Potter merch, whereas a lot of the Harry Potter stuff that is out there these days is so like, in your face, sparkly headwig on top of a Slytherin snake riding a Nimbus 2000 with a pair of Harry Potter glasses on. 
it's a lot. So as much as I love like walking into the Harry Potter section, looking at it all, being like, this is amazing, how magical. Uh, I never really buy any of it, but these, I just couldn't resist for some reason. Oh, I know why it is, it's because the fat lady is my spirit animal. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bought some fat lady socks. And if that's just not the most me purchase that I've ever made, I, I really don't know what is. They're the proper graphic from the movie. It's Dawn French as the fat lady doing her like, oh, amazing, just with my voice. Uh, and these were a grand total of two pounds. So for improving my quality of life by a strong 90%, I feel like this was a great purchase. Okay, and that's enough about the fat lady because that's my haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed having a little nose at everything I bought. Um, so let's have a chat in the comments down below. Are you going to head out and get any of these? Have you got your eye on any of them? Or do you already own them? And are we twinning now? Let me know it all down below. I try my best to reply to pretty much every single comment that I ever get, uh, as much as I possibly can anyway. So get involved down below and we can have a chat. Don't forget to stick around here because I think my next video will be the Average Girl Tries testing the Primark chocolate makeup products. So if you fancy seeing that then make sure you are subscribed and if you're new around here don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget that you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Lucy Jane Wood. I'm getting very close to hitting 10,000 followers on Instagram which is is one of my goals for the year. So if you fancy helping me out with that one, then it is just at Lucy Jane Wood. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I will be back in the next couple of days with another video, I'm sure. I'll be back. You know I always am. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing really well. I hope you're having a great week and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye! Mwah.